from coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord covers the major Christian events in America and across the world from the heart of Europe. The tip of Africa. From the centers of Asia. To Central and South America. You're a part of the world's largest prayer and praise gathering. Joining us from Miami, Florida are lawyer, author, and speaker from Atlanta, Georgia, Dr. Bernice King, evangelist, recording artist, and songwriter from Durham, North Carolina, Pastor Shirley Caesar, author and co-pastor of the Gathering Place Worship Center in Orlando, Florida, Dr. Larry Kingbobber, author and senior pastor of Embassy of the Blessed Kingdom of God for All Nations in Kiev, Ukraine, Pastor Sunday Adelaja, ready to take your calls, prayer partners from around America. God is moving right now. A few weeks ago, I had the privilege of meeting this outstanding pastor who has a great vision for not just his country, but for the world. He pastors a church with over 20,000 members. 98% of them are white Europeans and over a million people were saved in nine years. Somebody say amen. amen. He has over 300 daughter churches in over 15 countries he's offered over 30 books and his latest book is pastoring without tears and those of you that will just listen to what god will say through this band of god i want you to put your hands together and receive the word coming tonight from pastor sunday at elijah thank Love you god. sir thank you dr weeks well good evening everybody Good evening, everybody watching us on TV all over the world. Good evening, world. And I want to use this highly exalted pulpit to talk to, to thank, first of all, the men and women that the Lord has used to make the gospel a household inheritance in all the countries of the world. And because of them, I am here today. I want to say thank you to Dr. Paul and Jane Crouch for having us. They are an example of what Dr. Martin Luther King started. 19, the third week of uh, January, 19th of January, the day we are commemorating the, the, the great things that was started by a great man, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. God gave me a word for the world today and for everybody that is present in the studio tonight. The book of Hosea, Hosea chapter 12, verse 13, tells us about who, who Dr. Martin Luther King really was. And it also tells us something about the lesson that we are supposed to learn from his life and from this holiday and from this life that we are celebrating. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13, it says, Now, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, he, that is, Israel, was preserved. Now, listen closely. 
Dr. Martin Luther King was a prophet, sent just like Dr. Bernice King, this Dora said today, was a prophet sent to this nation. Now, but the point I want to make is, there is no deliverance without a prophet. There is no deliverance from Egypt for Israel without the prophet Moses that was raised by God. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King was a prophet, not because he was Martin Luther King Jr., but because he was a man that made himself available to God. And he was a man that took his time to get, to get a message from God. Now, a prophet is not necessarily somebody who bears the name prophet or the title prophet before his name. Now, a prophet is a man that is, first of all, the, that has made himself available for the use of God, that is totally surrendered to the Lord. And secondly, a prophet is a man that has given himself to receive a message and that, he, that has a message from the Lord. Now, this man, the reason why we are celebrating him today and the message he brought is because he made himself available to God and he got a message from him. Now, but the greatest lesson of the life of Dr. Martin Luther King, for me, is not, the fact, is not in the fact of what he has done. Because what he has done is a fact. But the question is, what example did he show to me? When I remember him, what do I see? Do I just see the fact that blacks and whites can see together in America? I am from Africa. For example, I don't live here. What can he, what can he teach me? His life. He he, what the conclusion I've come to is that uh, the life of a man like this, what he has done is not really what matters most. Although what he has done is <coughs> extremely important. If not because of the campaign of Martin Luther King and his colleagues, America would not be in the position to stand as a democratic nation and to speak and to lead the commonwealth of nations all over the world. So what Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King is not on, did is not only for the blacks, it's for the nation. If not for him and the success of his message, America would have been the leader of the world today. America would have been reduced to a country like, I mean, apartheid country like South, 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 South Africa. Now, but what is the greatest lesson that he has brought to us? It is not in what he has done, which is, you know, which has been applauded by everybody, but in what he triggered and in what he began to do and in what his example can really show us. What can his example show us? It shows us the God, a, a principle from the word of God that God always needs a man. Now, let's go back to the Hosea, chapter, two, chapter 12, verse 13. By a prophet, the Lord delivered Israel out of Egypt. That is, there is no deliverance for any nation, for any group of people in Africa, in Europe, where I live now, in Russia, or in, in, in America, without a man that has made himself available to God. There is no deliverance without a man. There is no deliverance without a prophet. Because by a prophet, Israel was delivered. And also, by a prophet, he was preserved. By a prophet, Israel was preserved. Now, what Dr. Martin Luther King has done, because he made himself available to God and became a prophet because he got a message from him, his achievement needs to be preserved today. And the only way it could be preserved is by making ourselves available to the Lord to get a message from him and becoming a voice and a prophet in our generation. Because when Israel was delivered by a prophet, the, the most important thing was not just the, deliver, the deliverance. They could be delivered and soon go back to captivity. But for them not to go back into captivity again, they needed to be preserved. And he says, now, a prophet was needed for them to be delivered, but also for them to be preserved and for the freedom to be preserved and for the liberty to be preserved, a prophet again is needed, like the example of Joshua. Now, listen closely. 
by a prophet, Israel was delivered. Why is it, why didn't God say, by God, Israel was delivered? The fact is that God is helpless until he finds a man. God saw the suffering of Israel. God heard them crying. But he couldn't do anything until somebody answers and says, I am ready. Send me. Use me. I want to hear and I want to go for you. That is what we are celebrating today. And it does not end in Dr. Martin Luther King. It ended in him and started in me. That if he could make himself available and be relevant for his generation, then I can make myself available and be relevant to my generation. That is why, as a 19-year-old boy, I left my fatherland. I left Africa. At 19, I left Nigeria, and I went to Russia. Now, now in Europe, it is like a taboo. It, you, know, you cannot even begin to think of a mega church, or of churches in the terms of 10,000, 20,000. But I went 10 years ago to, to Ukraine. And 10 years, less than 10 years later, nine years, we have a church of 20, 20, 20 25,000 people in nine years because it, they said it was not possible. But I realize God wants to do something great at all times. But the problem is, He needs somebody to be available. And He needs somebody to make Himself available to God and to receive a message from Him. Then I was only a believer for six months back in Africa when I left. But that did not stop me. I see so many believers in churches, sitting down in churches, doing virtually nothing. Now, the lesson from this passage and from the life of Dr. Martin Luther King is that everybody is sent to this world as a change agent. My Dr. Martin Luther King was, was sent to, to change and the face of America in the, in the 60s and to, 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 to the day we are living in. You, the reason why you are saved and the reason why Jesus came into your life is because he had chosen you to also be a prophet to a group of people, to a stratum of the society or to a sphere of influence. You have been chosen to take his message in boldness and to be available to him and take his message of deliverance to a group of people or to a stratum of the society. You have been chosen. That's why he came into your life. That's why he saved you. That is why he brought his kingdom into you so that you now might be his representative on the earth and become his agent of change here on the earth. We are all called to change something. Now listen, the question I have to you is, are you changing anything? What is your life affecting? Is your life impacting and affecting anything? Listen closely. I have decided that it is not enough for me to live a good life. It is not enough for me to have a good car. It is not enough for me to dress in good suits. It is not enough for me to have a big name. I have decided that if I have a name, if I have a life, and the life that I have should be lived only once, I must not waste this life. And this life has to be used to reproduce other lives. And I will not be satisfied at reproducing just a few lives. I will not be satisfied at reproducing hundreds of lives. I will not be satisfied at reproducing a few thousands of lives. If I am alive and my life is given to me only once, I want to use it to impact and to affect destinies of the nations of the world and of millions. What is the decision that you are taking? By a prophet, Israel was delivered. And by a prophet, he was preserved. A prophet. Who is a prophet? Where do we find a prophet today? A prophet is everyone that makes himself available. And that opens his heart to the Lord. And tells God, give me a message. I will go for it. Hello? It doesn't make sense to live for any other thing because you will be dead tomorrow anyway. It doesn't make any sense to 
waste your life on the things of this world because you will not be here forever anyway. Buy a prophet. You are a prophet of your generation. The problem we have is, it is easy for us to think only people like Dr. Martin Luther King could become, could become an agent of change. Only he could do something. But he was such a great man. He was such a brilliant man. That is not the factor that made him a success. If you listen to the daughter very well, the factor of success in his life, because he knew the one you know, he got to know Jesus. His personal relationship with Jesus became the key for his success. Hello, there is no excuse for you. Knowing Jesus and not affecting any change in your generation. There is no excuse. There is no excuse. Why you are living for your life? Why you are living for yourself? Why you are wasting away your life? Hundreds and thousands of people are perishing. Oh my God. In all the countries of the earth, in Japan, people are crying, waiting for you, their deliverer to come. In Russia, people are crying, waiting for you, their deliverer to come. In Europe, people are waiting. In Latin America, people are waiting. You are the deliverer of your generation. Believe God for it and go for it. You can become a prophet and a deliverer to somebody. By a prophet, Israel was delivered. You are living your life to be an agent of deliverance, an agent of change. Believe it and let the life of Dr. Martin Luther King be an example for you to emulate and to follow. I thank God I left Africa. That is why millions of people have been changing Europe. In 10 years, we built the largest church in Europe, not because I was somebody, but because I believe God. I am alive, sent and sent by God to affect a change in my generation. You too, believe it and go for it in Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands for the power of a prophet. Somebody celebrate right now for the power of a prophet. Somebody open up your spirit for the power of a prophet. Thank you, Jesus. If you have been watching our videos and maybe you enjoy them, maybe you don't enjoy them, but still, we need you to help us spread the word. And for that to happen, we only need you to take five little steps. Please help us spread this word by liking the video. Then, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We also need you to press the notification button and the way to do that is to click on the bell. You see the bell there? Click on it. Then, of course, leave your comments. Let us know what you're thinking about each video. And finally, we need you to go and share the world. Share this video on your Facebook timeline, on your uh, Instagram and every other platform that you have. Alright? Let's win the world for Christ. Thank you so much. Peace.